Welcome to Nerdgasm, and today we're going to be doing another review video, and today it's going to be Legion! Oh my god! Legion Season 1, Episode 3. This freaking show is blowing my shit! Oh my holy shit, this show is amazing! Okay, so let's talk about some awesome moments of the episode and then let's hit on some Easter eggs because apparently everybody only thinks there was only one. So we know David wants to go and try to rescue his sister. We know that he's also training with everybody over there to try and, you know, master his powers. They keep going back into his memories. They keep looking at all the stuff that triggered his powers, especially that kitchen scene. They go back to that kitchen scene a lot. Of course, it's one of the most, you know, influential moments of his powers just exploding, okay? It's like this completely raw, untapped, psychic blast of energy, you know, telekinesis. But it's not just telekinesis. It's not just the fact that he can move things with his mind, right? Also, when he's outside of them, you know, trying to figure out how to use his memories to help master his powers, we also get to see another power other than the telekinesis, the psychokinesis, and the telepathy, right? It's the power that he exhibited in the last episode, along with a brand new power. So when they're trying to scan his mind again, he sees his sister, and somehow he pulls both himself and his new girlfriend, Sid, towards where his sister is, right? Sort of like astral projection. You can move sort of just like your mind, your presence to an area. It's something that like people like Doctor Strange will use. And it was really cool to see Legion use it because it kind of makes you question how freaking strong is he? But as he sees his sister, right before he's about to get caught by the guy with the weird eye, he's teleported outside into the pond. Again, showing the teleportation just like last episode when he was able to move the machine that he was in because he saw the devil with the yellow eyes. So now we know that there are tons of triggers for David's powers, family, fear, love, a bunch of stuff is happening. And if you don't know about Legion, a big thing about this entire season of Legion is, can you really know who is a personality and who's not a personality? Would you know? Legion's so powerful, when he's fully realized, Legion can warp reality. Hey, if you learn to control that, you're gonna be a world-class badass. Legion's one of the most powerful mutants to ever exist. Him, Franklin Richards, Matthew Malloy, all extremely powerful mutants who could just twist anything, just make things happen, create pocket universes and warp reality just by wanting to. So it's not exactly easy to determine, okay, hey, is this person real? Is that person real? Is all of this real? You know, like what is he doing with his personalities that other people wouldn't even know? You know, there could be personalities mixed in with real people and nobody would ever know. So that's like an amazing thing going on with this show because until the show ends, we won't know. And even then, it's probably gonna be like, oh, well, see you season two. And again, I'm talking about powers. Another thing that we've seen in the last episode already, somehow he's able to stop Patonomy from, you know, moving through the memories. And David's not even doing it intentionally. At one point he did it because he was scared. He didn't want Patonomy Pato to keep going. And then at another point, David was telling him, it's not me, I'm not doing it. So is it a personality? Is it the devil with the yellow eyes that's stopping him? It's, you know, his power is just so vast, you can't put an actual understanding on it just because you're like, oh, it's superpowers, they can do anything. Like, it's, it, when you say someone can do anything, it stops you from being able to even comprehend, and you can only just guess, is it David, is it a personality? Maybe Patonomy's like freaking scared and he doesn't even know it himself. I mean, I doubt that last one, but you get what I'm saying. And on to a few Easter eggs that were in this episode, guys. Number one, okay, let's talk about the big ass X that was there. I know I, that it's, you know, it's like, it, it's obvious that could just be a window dressing, but I think that was a reference to, you know, Xavier's Institute for the Gifted. I think that somebody there knows Charles Xavier, Maybe they know that Charles Xavier is Legion's father, and maybe he even funded it a little bit, even though, they, you know, I mean, they inherited the ranch, but somebody had to pay for all that, and freaking Xavier is loaded. And also, look, I am i don't want to jump too far into this, because it's possible it's just like a transitional thing that because she was talking and thinking about him, that that's why that popped up there. But when they zoom in on David's face, because he's unconscious from the sedative they gave him so that, you know, his his internal powers and whatever's in there with him wouldn't stop them from moving around, you see Sid's face, like a silhouette of Sid's face, in the upper right-hand corner. Now, again, I don't know if that was just the transition, or maybe that's having to do something with, you know, some people are speculating, is Sid even real? Is Sid just another personality? Uh, is, is all of this inside David's head, and so it's like, it's, it's like a weird inception. Everything's in his head, so he keeps going into his head while he's in his head, and all these things are his own powers, you know? I, I don't know, but it was really cool. I loved how they did that because you'll, you'll miss it if you don't see it. And I feel like they made it hard to see. Maybe it is important. And another Easter egg, when they were moving through the ducks, right? When it's young David and Sid moving through the ducks trying to get away from, you know, the angriest boy in the world that turns into the devil with the yellow eyes. That's kind of like, you know, like a shout out 
to the Legion Legacy comics. There is a part in the comics where Legion has to crawl through the ducks to get away from his pursuers. So, like, that was really cool. I mean, they could have just done it because, you know, hey, David, she said, what's your favorite hiding spot? And he goes to the ducks. You know, he's a little kid. It's, it's very possible. But I think that was a throwback to David going into the ducks, again, in the Legion Legacy comics. And another Easter egg, guys, something really small. You guys all know that Aubrey Plaza is playing the character Lenny. She's, like, David's little buddy. You know, they get high together and stuff like that. People think that Lenny might have been a personality from the beginning. And it's kind of looking like she is definitely a personality now after she, you know, quote unquote, possibly died back in episode one. So when David is doing the flashback, looking how he was ransacking the doctor's office and he's looking for the tapes, there are some tapes there that say Mr. Plaza. And it's possible that that's kind of like a little joke written in because Aubrey Plaza's character was originally supposed to be played by a man. They liked her so much that they were like, no, you need to play Lenny. We, we need you to play Lenny. So it's possible, again, that's just a shout out, just, you know, because they reversed the gender, so they reversed the genders here on the tape. Now let's shoot to that scene where they were, you know, in his memories, and he was a little kid trick-or-treating. There are two things I want to talk about there. One, while they were walking, you see this banner, and in the background, the banner says, boom, David. Why did, I have no, I don't even, I don't even know what that means, guys. I don't even know why the banner says David to begin with, all right? It's weird. I, I don't, I mean, m maybe his mind is talking to him, maybe somebody's like, Trying to send him, like, get in contact with him, send him messages. And they're like, David, David, hey, over here. And he's, he's not even fucking seeing it. I don't know. But it was cool. And also his Halloween costume. He has, like, this little thing on his head, like, this weird metal helmet. Me and a few of the other people that I was talking to, we, we think that it might be, like, a tiny, small, little tiny thing. Sort of like a, you know, a shout-out to Cerebro, right? Because Charles Xavier is his father. And there is a scene where David says that his dad used to take him to talk to the stars. It's possible that they weren't talking to the stars. It's possible that it was Cerebro and it was, you know, all the lights, right? It's not like the comic books. Charles Xavier is not supposed to know his son is alive until he's way older. And he's supposed to have been raised by his stepfather. So I, I doubt that's the, the case. It's possible that the, the stepfather just took him out to the stars and he was hearing people's voices with his telepathy. And he thought it was the stars. Or again, it was Charles Xavier. It, it's a TV show. They can diverge from the comics all they fucking want. Because the devil with the yellow eyes is sure as hell not in the comic books. Neither is that creepy ass little angriest boy in the world. That shit is fucking terrifying. All right, guys. And the next thing I want to talk about is the episode four promo. There are two kinds of stories we tell our children. He's gonna wake up, right? Stories about empathy. Maybe he's hidden his real memories behind fake ones. And fear. I'm an This story is about fear. And what happens next? Major. Alright, so we know that David's still asleep. We know that from the end of episode three that his personalities are yelling at him, so we know that obviously he's gonna have to deal with some stuff to wake up. I can't say a lot about this freaking promo because. When you're dealing with a mutant that has superpowers that's possibly insane and he sees things and he, there's just like all these references, nothing could be real. How do you really say like, well, here's definitely what's going to happen in the next episode. All we know is that he has to find his sister, that he has to stop the divisions, and that he has to learn how to master his powers. We see him use his powers to move the truck. We see the promo talking about him trying to master his fear. Fear is like a huge thing, especially for David. And we see this hand kind of slide out from the jacket, right, and grab David's hand. Now, I don't know if that's him having like a weird flashback to when he was in Sid's body, because again, all we see is a hand. But I think that was a personality, you know, taking over. Again, Legion, multiple personalities. I think that that was him switching into another personality or another personality coming out and they're like, hey, my turn to drive. So hopefully we get to see something about more of his personalities in the next episode because that would be freaking epic. Oh my God, I would love that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Let me know if you guys are like loving the season or if you're hating it, if you think it's just too confusing or whatever. I mean, if you think Netflix would have done it, but I mean, just let me know what you guys think about it in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you later. And for those of you who are enjoying Legion, I will be putting up a video about the, the personalities that we know about and their powers later on this week. Goodbye.